Customer just doing laundry when they decided to run off with a vending machine. Welcome back to 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albright, and you just heard from the owner of that Chesterfield laundromat. Tonight, 8 News reporter Damon Reynolds is taking action for him. So, Damon, how is he feeling about all this? Well, Deanna, as you can imagine, he's frustrated. He says that this person has come into this laundromat right behind me plenty of times before. And what makes this even worse is that that vending machine was his daughter's business that he helped her start when she was just a little girl. I'm just trying to get it back. Albert Bingenheimer owns Neighborhood Laundromat in Chesterfield, and he's confused after this video from late Tuesday night shows something he would have never expected. Check this out. A man casually walks up to this vending machine filled with candy and for some odd reason just picks it up and walks off. Doing laundry and decided it was time to take the vending for some reason. What makes this even more weird? This person is a regular customer. In fact, earlier that same night, surveillance video shows him doing laundry with the woman who Albert says is his mother. They're, they're patrons I see here, you know, almost weekly. Well, Albert tells me that vending machine had sat in this space for three years before it was stolen. What's worse, the vending machine is a part of a legacy he was building for his daughter. I tried to raise her to, you know, hey, there's other ways to make money. You don't have to sit there and wait for your paycheck. She started this business when she was, you know, in, still in elementary school. Now his daughter, Brooke, is 17 years old and experiencing her first business loss because of theft. And I feel like that's just a very um, cheap way to get just something. And I worked really hard to put those in there. What I really hope for is that they find kindness in their heart to return it. I would love to just get my machine back and maybe bolt it into the floor this time. <laughs> Now, Albert did file a police report with the Chesterfield police. He also says that he hopes knowing what this customer looks like makes finding him easier. Stay with 8 News on there and online for more updates. Live in Chesterfield, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.